Next to me is the new 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor. My name is Alex and today we're taking a look at this particular Bronco and why it's the most off-road capable Bronco ever made. The Bronco nameplate was first introduced around the mid 1960s and customers had options between wagons, roadsters, or even a pickup version, depending on what they needed. And all the way up to 1996, the Bronco had different special editions and productions and five different generations. But in June of 1996, the last Bronco rolled off of the production line. Now back in 2017, Ford gave us a bit of a teaser picture to what seemed to be the resurrection of the Bronco family. 2021 comes along and the Bronco is back. Now we actually have two different variants of Bronco. We have full size Bronco and we also have Bronco Sport. Now the Bronco Sport is based on the Escape platform. It is a unibody construction and it's in that kind of Escape sizing in terms of dimensions. Now the full size Bronco is actually based on the Ranger platform. So it is a body on frame construction built more like a truck. Both variants are aimed to be a more outdoorsy, kind of off-roady style vehicle, while still keeping very strong on-road performance. Now beside me is the latest from the full-size Bronco family, the Raptor. The Raptor is the most off-road capable version of any Bronco ever built, and it's meant for people who want the best of the best. Standard comes a 3-liter EcoBoost engine, this is actually a twin turbocharged V6, makes over 400 horsepower, and it's paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission, which pairs very well. We have lots of low-end torque, which is especially helpful for off-roading. The Raptor is wider, it's taller, it's bigger for more stability. It also has increased ground clearance and approach and departure angles. It's overall just a more off-road capable version. Taking a look at the front of the Bronco Raptor, we are gonna have revised grills and bumpers. Now this bumper is a steel bumper, it is modular. It actually features exposed tow hooks and full skid plates underneath. And this grill does have increased openings for more airflow and cooling. And replacing the typical fog light, Ford actually partnered with Rigid Lights to give us a nice LED light there in the bumper for better nighttime visibility. And coming around to the side here of the Bronco Raptor. Firstly, you might notice these massive fender flares, which actually new for 2024. The Raptor does come with a body matched fender. Previously, they were gray. We do have the nice body matched fender flare, which I think looks fantastic. Underneath that, Huge, huge tires. You have a 37 inch tire on the Bronco Raptor and that is actually standard. And that does sit on a 17 inch wheel. It's actually made of forged aluminum, so it's incredibly strong. It is bead lock capable, so you can actually lock the bead of the tire to the rim for that hardcore off-road uh, enthusiast. Really, really a good looking wheel there and especially paired with those tires. And the Fox dampers control the entire suspension system. We have Fox suspension front and rear. It is the live valve suspension, so it is actually fully adjustable, which is super cool. And another cool change with the Raptor is actually the running board. So it's both a rock rail and a running board in one. So you do have the added protection for the side of the body. Now the Raptor is actually only available in a four-door and hardtop configuration. So if you're looking for a two-door Raptor, unfortunately it is not available. Taking a look at the rear, full-size spare mounted to the back there, which looks super cool. Ford actually had to reinforce the mounts for that tire because they are very heavy. Um, you also have the rear view camera, which is mounted just in the center of the wheel. Now inside is where we're gonna see some really, really cool changes. So firstly, the seats. These are the Raptor kind of Recaro style bucket seats. They are leather and suede, so it kind of keeps you in place a little better, more tightly bolstered, they're heated, they're very, very comfortable. Really cool kind of orange accent uh, stitching on there as well. The steering wheel is also gonna be a bit more thicker. Uh, it has the paddle shifters on the back and more of the orange and red stitching. Another Raptor exclusive feature is actually the fully digital gauge cluster. So it's a full screen, makes for super easy view for all the different vehicle information and off-road statuses. Another cool feature is the switches on top of the dash. Those are what Ford calls the hero switches. We have a front sway bar disconnect, front and rear lockers, which allow for significantly more grip. 
And the new 12 inch center sink for display allows for wireless CarPlay, built in navigation, and the new Bronco Trail app. It's actually just been released as well, which is available for people who want to use public trails in their new Bronco. There's actually seven different drive modes, which Ford calls goat modes, and these change the way the Bronco behaves depending on the terrain that you're on. The rest of the interior is built to be rugged and meant to get dirty. All of the buttons are rubberized. In fact, you can actually get rubberized flooring with integrated drains, so you can completely wash out the floors in your new Bronco. Now, because the Raptor is only available as a four-door, you get way more room in the rear seats, along with outlets and connectors to keep all your devices charged up. And here in the trunk area, we're actually going to have a split uh, swing gate and flip up glass, which is super cool. You also have the additional bracing there on the roll cage, which is Ford Performance branded, looks super cool. Additionally, we have lots of different outlets and connectors and tie down points back here. So that is the 2024 Ford Bronco Raptor. If you're interested in a Bronco Raptor, this particular one is actually for sale here at McPhee Ford. You can give us a call. You can visit our website, mcpheeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.